What's going on? Today, we're here to talk about the new black man. And this type of black man, his numbers are starting to swell. He is starting to be seen everywhere. I would consider myself to be a member of the group. The new black man is proud to be black. However, the new black man does not allow his blackness to impede his forward progression in the world. I remember when I first moved to the neighborhood, I saw this black man with his Asian wife in Whole Foods. And this woman is bad as the day is long. She is feminine, she is petite, she's in shape, and she is gorgeous. And he was with her and their two little kids. It was clear they were together. And I'm starting to see more type of black men like this who are choosing upward mobility. And one of the hardest things is if you're a new black man to find a new black woman, they exist. It's just that it's not that many of them. So this leaves the progressive forward moving black man to date other type of women because there's just not that many new black women. I will say that the new black woman is growing. There are more of them each and every day but in comparison to the new black man, because this is what the new black man has figured out, that he has a competitive edge. And this is one of the things that the new black man understands, and this is why the new black man doesn't lift, listen to the repetitive garbage from the dominant black community, that if you're black, you are screwed. The new black man understands that he has a competitive advantage because I will tell you from a sexual marketplace dynamic, the new black man has a sharp and distinct competitive edge. As someone who's been part of the new black male contingency, I can tell you that many white women, many Asian women, many Latino, Latino women, and even Indian women have started to become curious about the new black man. And this gives you a competitive advantage because if you are a new black man and you dress well, you have the ability to express yourself well, your dating options are virtually endless. Also, as a new forward moving progressive black man, something else has emerged. In the corporate world, if you can be that well-spoken, highly intelligent black man, you can move up in corporate America. But see, part of this upward mobility means that you have to divorce yourself from many of the things that the dominant black community feels is cool, is acceptable. And also, this is why if you are a progressive black male, the new black male, you run the risk of being called a coon, a turncoat, because you're divorcing bad behaviors. You're not divorcing being black, you're divorcing the bad behaviors of being black. And this creates some dissension between you and the feller other black men who have not made the move to be a progressive black. Because let's go ahead and talk about one of the biggest issues and one of the biggest draws here on YouTube when a black man dates a non-black woman. There are so many people who feel that if you're black, you should date a black woman. And you know, I'm gonna say this. If you find a gorgeous, intelligent, wonderful black woman that gets you, that digs you, that marry her. I'm not saying don't marry a black woman. I am saying do not limit your dating options to black women because Here's the thing, and this is something that many, many of you already know. Finding someone that gets you, someone that can have your back, is a daunting thing. So as the progressive black man, because I was talking to this guy I met, we were in Target and we just kind of ran into, into each other because he was flirting with this white woman and she was flirting back. And I was like, I see what you did. I like your Kung Fu. He's like, Oh yeah, you can bag him up here in this Target. And we began to talk and we began to find out that we had shared interests. And he was like, oh yeah, I was like, yeah. And I, before they closed the Publix down, that used to be the place. I used to pick up honeys there all the time. 
and we begin to talk about the distinct differences between white women, Latino women, Asian women, and black women, because he too had dated across the board. And this is one of the things that if you are a progressive black man, if you are open to it, you will find out that you can get way more for less. Because I, I gave him my, you are the automatic bad boy ploy. Because as a black man, you're an automatic bad boy for a white woman, an Asian woman, or a Latina woman. You automatically are the bad boy. Even though you're just being yourself, you could be nerdy, doesn't matter. You got that bad boy pass tucked up in your pocket. And he was like, oh yeah, man. It was like, oh, and they're so submissive. And one of the things, and then also we began to speak professionally. And he was a VP at Mercedes Benz. And we begin to talk about that now, talk about, you know, when I had a job and everything, really, really cool brother. We had a wonderful conversation because he, like I, has observed the options that are open to the progressive black male. I mean, literally, the world is your oyster. And also he talked about some of his stuff with his family, how some of his cousins didn't understand why he was messing with all these white women when there were all these perfectly good sisters. See, when you are progressive and you live in truth and you have a fundamental understanding of how the world works, you know that there are options out there for you, that there's different things you can do. There are different things you can put together. And there are so many people who or who have a fixed mindset, because this is just another uh, attribute of the new black male. It's a progressive, flexible mindset, not a fixed mindset. Because the fixed mindset says, man, you black, you need to find you a sister. There ain't nothing better for you than a sister. Even though literally there are 4 billion women in the world that, you know, because essentially what happens is as you open up your dating preferences, you open up your options and you can have a happier dating life versus being locked into a situation where if you're dealing with non-progressive black women, which is horrible, it's terrible, terrible, terrible thing. BGS Igmore did something, uh, a video talking about how black women want black men to play the game even though the deck, the card of decks is stacked against them. And I thought it was a really good video. You should go ahead and check it out because here is the thing. Also, the progressive new black man has money and access to money and access to credit because Robert Townsend, owner of the Weather Channel, he said there's $22 trillion of funding available. Yet the average black person can't figure out how to get a piece of that action. But the new progressive black man has figured it out. The new progressive black men can get things going. And many of the new progressive black men are married to black women, but they're not married to regular or normal black women. They're married to the new black woman. And this is one of the things, because if you're going to marry someone black and you're a progressive black male, they're going to have to be the new black woman. Otherwise, it's just not going to work because there will be dissension. I will tell you some of the stuff that happened to me when I was dating non-progressive black women. I remember I was dating this girl. She was a school teacher and we just used to bump heads on issues because she told me that some of her family members came to stay with her and she had a one bedroom apartment and it was like 12 people and they were all in this one bedroom apartment. And I was like, why didn't anyone get a hotel room? And this was, became an issue, it became a fight and she started calling me a Republican and all this other stuff. See, the non-progressive black women feel that there is nobility in struggle. The new progressive black man knows there's no nobility in struggle. There is no nobility in it whatsoever. But when you're wedded to someone with that mindset, it is horrible. You can't even have a simple conversation without it turning into a fight because they are gonna get defensive because they feel what they bring to the table, so to speak, or what they uh, feel is adequate or appropriate is 180 degrees 
away from what you feel is adequate and appropriate. The new black male doesn't wear hood culture clothing. He has learned that that marks him. He's going to be in the flyest gear. He's going to drive a nice car. He's going to have great credit and he's going to speak a certain way. And this is one of the things that's going to set him apart from his non progressive black contemporaries. And right now I'm so excited. There are more and more of us and we're growing and we're taking over and it's like an amazing thing. So if you want to be one of the new black males, I urge you to join me in project 50,000. This is my project where I want to turn 50,000 people over the next five years into corporate citizens, holding company, operating companies, and playing a corporate game. Because when you play the corporate game, you are being an American. You're being an American citizen, except you're a corporate citizen and America will bow down for you. America will give you the best. It will give you the milk, the honey, it will give you all of that. So the link is below for those of you who want to become corporate citizens. So that's all I got for you gentlemen today. Be well, and I will see you in the next video, which should be right about here.